Hey, what's going on, people? It's me here once again with another film review. And this time I'm talking about a movie called 23 Minutes to Sunrise. Came out in 2012, and I didn't even know about this movie, man. I just like found it on my movie app, and it stars Eric Roberts. And everybody else that's in the movie is like a nobody, You've never seen them before. So, Eric Roberts is the only one that you'll probably recognize. Um, he's uh, been in a lot of B-movies. Um, he's uh, Julia Roberts' brother and all that stuff. Anyways, so this movie, um, right off the bat, I could tell it's very low budget, you know. It's got that low budget look. And um, I'll tell you some of the plot without trying to give too much away. Um, so... I actually kind of like the plot to this. It's kind of original. Um, I've seen it done in other movies, but so the the gist of this is that you have all these people. Uh, I think it's four four couples. Um, it's all these different people, and they they all end up in this diner. It's a twenty four hour diner, and they all just end up in the same diner, and they all have this common thing where they all have like problems you know one couple has um marital problems and you have like this kind of bonnie and clyde couple um like it's this bad couple that they like uh they're bad people they like stealing uh robbing stores and stuff like that and uh you have and then you have like uh, Eric Roberts' character and this uh, young girl, um, and now like the the there's a lot of like uh, I guess you could say there's, this is a slow, a very slow slow burn kind of movie uh, because there's very um, there's a lot of dialogue in this movie and like if you don't like that you're probably not gonna have the patience to actually watch this movie to the end. But I, I kind of did. I kind of enjoyed it. The dialogue is actually pretty uh, engaging, and I did kind of felt that it dragged. But towards like the end, it was, you know, it was it was building up. It was the the tension was there, suspense is there, and uh, yeah. So uh, the the character that Eric Roberts plays, he's the one character that you should really watch because he kind of like um, controls the whole. Like what goes on in pretty much the whole movie so he's like the main character of the movie pretty much but we don't really know like like anything about him like we don't really know why he's there why he's there at the diner um any backstory on him or like what is he exactly the only thing that really becomes clear is that you know he's not like you know like human and stuff and i don't want to say too much about this because i think I don't know, man. It'd be a kind of a spoiler, but one thing I didn't like about this movie, though, is, like, you watch it to the end, and then, you know, without spoiling it, uh, I, I don't know, how can, how should I say this? Just watch it, and then, you know, give, you know, let me know what you thought about the ending, and then, we you know, we can talk about that, but I was going to say, I don't know, man trying to think of this movie that was kind of like that that was you know building up and then but even with that problem um this was okay this was pleasantly i was pleasantly surprised and i was like wow you know for a low budget movie that I'd never heard of before and that i just stumbled upon it was actually pretty decent and um and i think eric roberts did a good job like acting as this you know like badass character you know and it was cool, man, you know. By the way, he was also in, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, he was also in uh, The Human Centipede 3. Um, and he was he was kind of like the same kind of personality in that movie that was in this. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why I thought about that movie. It has nothing to do with this, but it's a fun fact about Eric Roberts. Um, but yeah, man, I would recommend you guys check this out, even with some things that I didn't like. Um... It was still a good movie. Wow. And, uh, yeah. I, w I don't recommend you guys, like, go out of your way to see it. 
you know it's not one of those movies but um if you're in the mood to watch something you know cool you know you got like an hour and a half to burn you know you ain't got shit to do um you know like a movie night thing or you know you just want to like see some like some cool movie um yeah check it out man definitely it's worth checking out once i wouldn't buy this movie i wouldn't like you know oh add it to my collection you know it's not like one of those oh my god this movie blew me away but it's worth enough to watch it at least once you know and uh i don't know i was watching i was watching the reviews on youtube i was reading the reviews and a lot of people kind of felt the same way i did about it but we're not going to get into that. But yeah, check it out. It's called 23 Minutes to Sunrise. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. All right? Peace.